Hello guys and welcome to another coding vlog of my little SaaS project. For you guys that are new here, I'm currently working on my first larger SaaS project and I'll try to document the process with these little vlogs and tell you what I'm currently working on. Today I'll try to vibe code my way through some bugs that came up recently and hopefully make some progress. We are also going to talk about the tech stack I chose for my app and I also have to make some pretty important decisions about potential payment providers that I could use but more about that later. So right now I'm still pretty early in this project. I spent quite some time, maybe a little bit too much time, planning and designing a bunch of stuff. But to be honest, I don't regret it at all. I've seen a lot of startup gurus saying stuff like focus on building etc and the rest comes later, but I kind of disagree on this approach. Of course you can't plan out every possibility from the start and that would also take way too much time. But having a solid feature backlog that helps you decide which feature to implement in which order has been very useful in my case. Also, I am used to professional software engineering, working with Scrum, etc., which would be overkill for my little passion project here. But one thing that's super important for me personally while I'm working is to know when something is done. It's also a psychological aspect for me to have the feeling of completing something and merging it, then moving on to the next task. This way I can really feel the progress I'm making and also automatically motivate myself to keep working on it and complete the next feature. So let me tell you something about the tech stack I chose for this project. For the front end, I'm using Next.js because I want to leverage its server components for better SEO performance. I haven't worked with Next in the past, but I worked a lot with React, so that should be no problem, I think. On the backend side, I'm running Symfony as my go-to PHP framework because I've already worked a lot with it and I really like it so far. And please leave all the PHP hate comments down below. I have deliberately kept the frontend and backend completely separate from each other, communicating only through APIs. This way I can evolve either part independently without affecting the other. The whole setup runs on Docker, so I don't have to worry about it works on my machine problems and when the time to deploy comes, everything should be easy. Hopefully. It's basically a single page application where the front end handles all the user interactions and the back end focuses on processing and validating the data, plus handling all the business logic. I think it's a pretty standard approach for modern web applications, but one that gives me a lot of room to grow as the project grows. Maybe. And by the way, if you want to follow my journey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Alright, now it's time to do some quality coding. So I still haven't revealed what my SAS is going to be when it's ready, and that is on purpose, but as the series progresses, I'll be sharing more and more details to it. The app is going to have a public frontend that doesn't require a login, and a creator backend where sellers can register and create an advert. I can tell you so much, it's going to be some kind of marketplace app. I am currently done with the user authentication process and started to build the locked in backend. The heart of the entire backend will be the advert creation process, so this is what I'm currently working on. It is going to be a multi-step process that guides the user through the creation of a new ad and lets them publish it in the last step. I am also trying to build everything mobile first in the beginning, so here I'm trying to make everything between the header and the footer scrollable, so the user always knows in which workflow step he currently is and always has the button to proceed or go back. Of course, good old Claude is a big help with all the CSS adjustments because, let's say, my CSS skills are limited. Generally, I'm vibe coding with AI quite a lot when it comes to everything around front-end work. I am pretty confident in my back-end skills, but front-end work is something I never became a real pro in, even though I am a full-stack engineer. And if you also want to vibe code like me, you should check out Scrimba. If you haven't heard about it already, Scrimba is probably the best way out there to learn to code right now. What makes Grimba unique is their interactive teaching style. Instead of just watching tutorials, you're actually coding in the browser while learning. You can pause the video anytime, edit the code on screen and see the results instantly. No need to set up any development environment, everything runs right in the browser. And they have just released their brand new AI instant feedback feature, which is a total game changer for learning and especially for beginners. See, the problem with typical vibe coding using ChatGPT or Claude is that you often end up just copy-pasting code without really understanding what's happening. But Scrimba's approach is different. Instead of just getting code from AI, you write the code yourself and the AI gives you personalized feedback on how to improve it. It is like having an actual senior developer or teacher sit next to you, reviewing your work in real time, pointing out better practices and explaining why certain approaches work better than others. They are also expanding their courses into full stack learning right now with new courses in Next.js, Node.js, SQL and much more. So whether you're just starting out or looking to level up your front end skills like I am with this project right here, they've got you covered. And still to this day, the best part about them is that most of their courses are completely free. 
I have linked my favorite courses down below and again big thanks to Scrimba for still supporting the channel. So my current development process is kind of difficult at the moment to be honest. If you have watched my last video you already know that I reduced my work time to only 4 days per week starting from May. And I'm really counting the days until it's finally May to be honest because right now I'm coming home from work eat something and really want to keep working on my project but sometimes it just doesn't work. My brain is totally cooked for the day and it's almost impossible to concentrate and write good code. So I really can't wait to have some dedicated time every single week that I can put into my own passion projects. Also my YouTube channel here didn't get enough attention from me as I would have liked it to have in the past months. I also moved to a different apartment a couple of weeks ago and everything just came at the same time making it quite difficult to balance everything as usual. So the next bigger step for this little project here is to set up a development server where I can test everything on a real device and just improve my development process in general. I also need to set up a pipeline that does all the dev deployments automatically. Something else I just want to say before I wrap this up is thank you guys. Thanks to every single one of you watching my videos and commenting. When I first started this channel I just wanted to do something creative and do something different from just coding all day long. And meanwhile I have a couple thousand people watching me exist here in my little developer world. I just want to say that it really means a lot to me that you guys are watching my stuff and I hope that I can inspire some of you to start your own projects. Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next coding vlog. Bye.